tell you, I be doing dope stuff sometimes. Tell me why I got a, um, okay. I got a gas card and it says Chevron. Why did I go to Shell? I don't understand me sometimes. I just need some gas. I'm gonna be late. I'm literally like on E. I did. What the heck is this? I got too much trash in my car, so I'm gonna throw some of it away. Now I'm gonna go drop off some. I'm gonna go drop off like some gifts to my cousin, and then I'm gonna be on the way to my hair appointment. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Kayla back on Vibe with K. Today, I am finna go to get my hair done. I'm gonna go get a curly cut, y'all. Oh, I thought he was finna run into me, okay. It be sad when your car can't do U-turn sometimes. You be like, seriously? Let me make sure I don't hit a pole. Hold up, let me pull over so I can put my GPS on because I don't even know where I'm going. But yeah, so today I'm finna get my hair cut. You can't really see my hair because I'm wearing black, but I didn't really do it this morning. I woke up and just did nothing basically, y'all. But anyways, I'm gonna get my hair cut for the new year. So just to like revamp my hair since this year, I'm gonna be doing a lot more. This year, I'm gonna be doing a lot more hair videos and getting back into my hair content. So I was like, what better way to do that than to like get a haircut? So I'm probably gonna get my bangs back, y'all. Get a little shape. It's not gonna be too drastic, but it's gonna be a difference in my hair. That is exciting. I'm really excited to get my hair cut because I don't let anybody touch my hair. I have like a, a childhood like hair stylist and she's the only one that has been doing my hair since I was little so I'm going to another hairstylist that just specialize in curly hair so this should be good they said that I can record in there so you guys are gonna be able to see the whole process first let me go run this errand and we are we are on it You guys, so I ran my little errand. I dropped off the present. Ooh, my door's not closed. Look at that. See, I'm telling y'all. I tell y'all, like, my door be wide open. I don't even know it. Believe me. Right. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I need to clean my car. It's probably dusty. So excited to get my hair done. It says 46 minutes, y'all. When I tell you this is far, it's in Santa Monica, by the way. If you're in the LA area uh, or LA County, whatever you want to call it, um, this is a local. I mean, it's not local for me, but it's local if you got me. Like, it's not like three hours away, but it's 46 minutes away. I should be good. My appointment's at 12. It's currently 1021. I cannot do two things at once. It's currently 1020. <laughs> I said that three times. My appointment's at 12, so I have a lot of time, y'all. I'll get there around 11. I'm done driving I got here it took me quite a while to get here I found parking but it says one hour customer parking I feel like I should move because this is not where I'm supposed to be oh I can move over there I don't know I don't know if I should park here or move but I'm gonna ask anyways I gotta pee I think bro like I feel like every time it's somewhere I have to go alone this is why I want to focus on like going places by myself i get like social anxiety like all night i was literally like constantly overthinking this day mainly because i have to film and this is why i don't really film in public like that because people stare at me and then when they stare at me i know they're like curious to what i'm doing but still like i'll be i'll be overthinking i'm like hey maybe i should stop filming or i'll put the camera this low just to try to film but that's probably why a lot of youtubers do that because they be having social anxiety it's real like right now i'm sitting in the car debating if i should go in there to tell them if i if i could park here but i don't know about that so yeah all right so we're gonna check you but if you want to get any before bts oh, you know yeah. i'm glad this is like a small place i get like really i get anxiety when no i, I totally get that <laughs> I totally guess that. And then there's like a little dog. Are oh, you okay, it's okay? Yeah. Yeah, show it off, girl. 
all right you guys so here is my before of my hair it's very frizzy dry um probably haven't washed it in a couple of days and there's just so many split in oh so you deep conditioned before yes because it gives me slip mm -hmm. when i'm cutting where your curl's gonna go how it's gonna look the temperature okay yeah that's good yeah i normally um deep condition before my wash day totally and some people think think it's wrong but i don't know i think it's way more better because my hair is a lot moisturized too totally and i think it's one of those things where the one thing about the curl community that i wish was different is that like there's so many different kinds of curls yeah like why would the same routine work for everybody so I would definitely just say like, give it a try. If it doesn't work for you, don't do it again. How can you tell like the porosity? Um, that's a great question. So uh, you can really tell based on how long it takes. Uh, sorry, I don't get in your way. You can really tell by how long it takes your hair to get wet. You know, if your hair uh, resists moisture when you put direct water onto it, mm -hmm. then you have low porosity because that hair does not want to accept that water, it wants to repel it. Um, if you have high porosity, which typically ends up occurring in people who have chemical damage, or um, in certain cases heat damage, but it's more so about like if you had a chemical relaxer or color. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so that's why like if you dye your hair, it's like more dry? Exactly, because like it quickly absorbs water, but it also quickly dispels it. Yeah, because I was thinking about getting highlights, but like I'm I like my natural hair color. Your too. natural hair color is beautiful, and like color can be done. You just have to be really careful about who goes, who does it for you. Right. You know, if you go to someone who uh, you know specializes in curls or has knowledge of curls at the very mm -hmm. least, um, you know we color the hair in a different different way. way, like because we're not trying to push the hair. For most curl specialists, we're really concerned primarily with the integrity of the hair. How often do you think uh, to cut our hair? Um, it really depends on like the person's goals. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, my clients uh, who you know like to maintain their shape mm -hmm. and keep their hair really healthy. Um, if they like to keep it on the shorter side, typically I recommend three times a year. Uh, mm -hmm. So you know, every four months, just come in for a little trim. Mm -hmm. um, for people on their hair growth journey, if their hair is finer and um, tends to split, mm -hmm. um, you know. I have a lot of clients who they come in every four months and straight up I will literally take those ends off. <laughs> um, just because people, you know, with finer curly hair yeah. are the people who are most susceptible to breakage. Mm -hmm. And that's like a lot of people hair hair won't they won't grow it past their collarbone, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so those folks, I tell them to come in a lot. That smells so good. Yeah, this is our ultra nourishing mask. I don't even know how to describe the scent. I kind of think of it as like vanilla-y almost. Yeah. Um, it smells a little floral, like yeah, flowers, like totally. perfume. Hey guys, it's Vibing with K on the mic now. So I just really wanted to incorporate like the style is just talking and giving me tips and just like our conversation so you can get to know like what this actual process is like. Um, just as, this is just based on my experience, but um, I'm super glad that I decided to get my first curly cut. Poke around of like, what's going on here? What am I seeing when it's dry? What am I looking for when it's dry? Um, and now I can very clearly see where the threads are going. I'm not gonna take all of them though, because um, based on like the initial look, I could see where it was really bad versus where I'm just gonna trim it. You know? okay. I mean, I don't have a problem. You need to cut more, you Totally, totally. I love healthy hair. Yes. Me too. And I love to hear you say that. So this was by far one of the best experiences I've had. I felt super comfortable as being a black woman going to these types of salons. Um, you can really just get uncomfortable, but I feel comfortable because I've seen another influencer, Shamar Moore, come to this salon. So I was like, you know, she has a similar hair type as me. Let me try it out. And I've been wanting to do this for so long. Um, the stylist made me feel so comfortable, was easy to talk to, and even let me record the whole entire thing. So before even cutting the hair, he actually looked over my hair just to see like, 
what parts of my hair are thicker, what parts are like more damaged, stuff like that. And then he decided to start cutting. So um, he took me throughout the whole process on why he's cutting a certain way, um, why he's sectioning a certain way and stuff like that, which was really helpful just for me to know like in the future because I've cut my hair before and um, it did not turn out too well, but it was just all a part of my journey. So seeing like somebody else be able to like cut my hair and me feel comfortable while he's doing it was just so amazing because when it comes to my natural hair I just don't like many people touching it so knowing that he's an expert at it was you know just a lot helpful so I'm pretty sure you guys wanted to know like how did I want my hair like how did I want it cut um, I really just wanted more layers I wanted my hair to be more lifted because as you can tell like when I first got to the salon my hair was really flat dry and it's just like there you know what I mean I want a little pizzazz I want you know some bangs I want my hair to be more full of course that's gonna take time because my hair will be a lot more shorter since he's cutting it but it will have so much value so I've been in this position where like I cut my hair and then I'm just waiting for it to grow and get that volume but I feel like my hair is my best when it is a little shorter just because the curls are way more defined. I'm just like in the middle of do I want my hair longer or do I want it shorter? So I was just like, I really don't care. You can cut it all off. I mean, you can cut how much ever you need. I just want my hair to be healthy. So right here, he's just showing me the lift and I loved it once I seen this. You can tell that one side is more like lifted, obviously, cause it's like getting drier, but the layers are there. The other side is flattened. I didn't really like that when I was styling my hair. I noticed that I would pick it out so much just so I can get like that lift and more volume. But since my hair is on the thinner side, it's not going to be too puffy because I don't have thicker hair, if you know what I mean? But however, there is ways that you can make your hair look more voluminous, if you know what I mean, <laughs> just by adding layers. So this is just the start of like my little new curly cut but I am happy. You see how cute it looks like? Oh my gosh, and it's not even dry, so yeah. Okay, so after my hair has been, majority majority of it has been cut, um, we went back in the bowl just to rinse out. I think there was a deep conditioner in my hair. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on it, but yeah, I don't really remember because we were talking a lot, so I've learned so much through this curly haircut so I didn't remember everything that he did but just know it was really good um now he's just sectioning off the hair I really like how he sectioned the middle and that's something I'm really gonna take on to my routine when I style my hair because I have bangs now so I'm gonna like section off the middle when I style it and right now he's just gonna style it using these two products which I'll show later on in a clip and he also showed me like a tip to have like the little clip in the middle of my hair since I do have a middle part like I always wear a middle part so you see how you just clipped it right there just to clip in like just to make sure the bangs don't separate you know I just needed to see you so those were the two products that he actually used which is a curling I think a curly milk curling milk okay <laughs> and a gel and those work perfectly fine these products are lightweight on my hair um, my hair is on the thinner side so lighter products lift up my hair if you get what I mean heavier products like thicker products would weigh down my hair so and he already knew that and I didn't have to tell him so this kind of tells you that he knows what he's doing yeah so he sectioned off my hair every little inch of my head y'all when I tell you every part of my hair got the product it needed and more this experience was so amazing um i would definitely get another curly haircut and i put on here that we should normalize going to a curly hair salon just because they know our hair types and he's worked with several different hair types not even just looser curls you know so it's not just like he only knows one curl type so which makes it more comfortable that he knows what he's doing and then here's another uh, cool tip that he used. He used a wet towel to scrunch up my hair. And I thought that was cool because sometimes I like to use like a dry towel and that could probably like just dry on my end. 
So here's a tip that I was talking about. It says if you part your hair in the middle and you want bangs, you should put a clip in the middle so it doesn't divide when you're drying your hair. I have a natural middle part just because I always do middle parts. So now that I need to, now that I have bangs, I need to train my hair to not go straight to the middle, you know? So that's why he put a clip. And as you can tell, you can't really see that middle part now that he's diffusing. So he just scrunches up to diffuse. I think he used medium heat not like over blast you know but um he did dry the whole thing just because i was at a curly hair salon i'm at the salon so might as well i mean that's what you're supposed to do but uh yeah typically if i was at home i probably wouldn't fully dry it with the diffuser just so it can air dry however the way he was um blow drying it i didn't get too much frizz like as i thought i was gonna get you know because I never really blow dried my hair fully with a diffuser with my hair curly. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to have you do. I'll be back. I kind of smooth everything over. Like I'm putting it into a ponytail. Which you can still very much do. <laughs> It's longer and metal so that it doesn't build up as much. You can one last time. Actually though, <laughs> I'm doing a light layer of hairspray. And then I use a blow dryer, low heat. I go in and I stretch a little. Trim them yourself, or you can come back. <laughs> but long you just far. I like to tell people how to do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the curl, and you're going to cut at the bend of the curl vertically. So, like so. See how it like continues and doesn't yeah. get crazy. Whereas I'm gonna cut it again. So okay. if you cut it horizontally. It gets really weird and heavy and choppy. Yeah. So, what I like to do is cut it up. Oh, it's so I can see. It's really lightly, I like it. Yeah. I love it. Yes. Do you want to see the back? Yeah. Awesome. I'll pump you up and turn you up so you can use that mirror to look into this mirror. <laughs> ah, yeah. Love that. Yes. A little bit of layers. Yes. I didn't go too crazy though, just so you could see how you can keep your length but get a shape. So this is how my hair came out. I'm in love with it. I love the layers. Y'all just don't know. As a curly hair, you know, whatever you want to call it, I see the vision because once my hair grows, the layers are going to come in. The shape is going to be there. And the shape is already there. Just certain parts need a little bit more growing to do, but it's healthy. Me too. My pleasure. Thanks so much for coming in. The products you're using are great, especially for big hair. Mm -hmm. I would just say if you're ever into a little more definition, a gel is going to be very nice.
it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed um give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more content i'm gonna be way more consistent um as i am on break right now but we'll see about that uh yeah i'll see you guys in another video bye